Hello everybody, it is Forever Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build here on my channel. Um, today I am doing just a really small uh, family home. I have titled it Oasis Starter family oasis family starter there it is that's the name um and yeah it is in oasis springs as you can tell it is one bedroom or no wow i'm just screwing up all over the place today it's two bedroom one bathroom um super cute i don't know i'm really really happy with it the way that it turned out uh and yeah I really like it actually. I don't usually build in Oasis Springs, but I really, really love this build. And since I have been doing a lot of more colorful builds lately, I wanted to do something more neutral. So it is a very, very neutral color scheme. It's all brown and beige pretty much, uh, except for the toddler room, which is pink and yellow. But you know, it's still, it's pretty cute if I do say so myself. I actually really, really love the toddler room that I put together in this build. I think it looks really, really awesome. I also really love the backyard. Um, I don't know, I just think it's cute, and I hope that your sims love it too if you, you know, decide to put them in this house because I think it's cute, and so, you know, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is basically the down low on the uh, build. Yep. And, um, yeah, that's, that's all I had to say about it. <laughs> I don't usually talk that much about the build because, you know, we got other more important things to discuss. For example, the fact that I actually went to the dentist today. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I know most people really don't like going to the dentist. I am one of those people. I don't like going to the dentist. <laughs> um, I hate, like, people in my mouth. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not a good time. And, yeah. It was pretty scary. It was also, this is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I'm going to admit it to you guys anyways because we're friends, so you know, you won't judge me, right? But, um, it was my first time going to the dentist without the presence of my mother, so that was also like, no, can we not, please? <laughs> um, yeah, kind of terrifying, but you know, I survived. I got through it. It was all good at the end of the day. Um, Basically, you know, I just have like the normal cleaning and whatnot, but I did have to get like an x-ray uh, of my mouth and it basically uh, uncovered the fact that I needed to get my wisdom teeth removed this summer. So, I mean, fun, right? No, wrong. It's not fun and I'm not excited. I don't want it. Please don't make me. <laughs> um, hopefully, like... I'm nervous because I don't know how, like, I've, how I'm going to react to it. Like, I don't know how my recovery is going to be because obviously it's very different for everyone. And so, like, I just don't know what's going to happen, guys. And I'm super nervous about it. I really am. Yeah. It's, it's a nerve-wracking thing. <laughs> if any of you guys have gotten your wisdom teeth removed, let me know in the comments how it was. Uh, how the surgery was, how the recovery was, all that stuff, because I'm super nervous about it. I've only ever had surgery once before in my life, and it I can honestly tell you that it was the worst experience of my life, um, and so I'm not looking forward to having another surgery. So yeah, not thrilled. I'm really not, but you know, you got to do what you got to do, and it's better to do it sooner than later, so... I'm just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. <laughs> but I'm not happy about it. Let that be known. Your girl is not happy. She doesn't want to get her wisdom teeth out. It's gonna be a, a difficult time. And then leaving the dentist, oh my gosh, my appointment was at 3.30. I get home from school at 3. And mind you, today I had to, I posted a creative sim, so I needed to, like, do the CC list, so I have to, like, I can't schedule the upload, I have to post it while I'm there. So usually I just post them after school, and I do it on days that I don't work. But, today, I got home from school, I worked on a little bit of homework, and then at 3, I got home at 3, worked on a bit of homework, at 3.15, I went to the dentist, left to get to the dentist, and um, my dentist is in downtown of the city that I live in, and 
also downtown there is a festival right now it is like for little kids there's like fun stuff and face painting and woo festival I don't know <laughs> but it's really busy downtown uh, this week because of the festival uh, so that was fun um, luckily my dentist has reserved parking so I got to park there but I mean it was still not ideal less than ideal uh, it's fine though it's totally fine I, like getting there was fine I had to go like a weird way because one of the roads were closed uh, for the festival but like I kind of expected that anyway so it wasn't that big of a deal <sighs> got to the dentist and um, everything was okay but leaving the dentist was awful because by the time I was leaving it was like 4 30 I was expecting to be done at like 4 but it took longer than I expected so I'm leaving at like 4 30 I should have had my video posted an hour ago because usually my criticisms are posted by like 3 30 this video should have been up an hour ago but I'm just leaving the dentist but I'm like whatever it's gonna be fine it's not gonna take that long to get home like I don't live that far away but it's 4 30 it's rush hour and it is so busy and like all the roads I have to take are like main roads so I ended up having to go some really long way like usually it would take me like five minutes but it took me like 10, 15 minutes to get home because it was so busy and so crazy and it was so frustrating <laughs> and I couldn't deal with it so I didn't get home until like 4:45 super annoyed um and then when i got home i got like i found out i guess some like not great news that was really upsetting and so then i was just upset and i was like well i don't feel like doing this video now because i'm not in a good mood and i just i'm not in the mood to find a cc list i mean luckily i already did like half of the cc list last night because i had like spare time which doesn't happen often so I was like what should I do with my spare time I'll just get together some of the CC for tomorrow's build so that it or tomorrow's build for tomorrow's video so that it's less that I have to do so that was helpful but it took me a while to get my act together and calm down and just do the video because I was too busy panicking over the news that I got after my dentist appointment Ugh, it was rough you guys it was a battle and up Hill battle but I made it I got the video up by like 5 30 I want to say but it was kind of frustrating because I had other errands that I had to do that I didn't ha end up having time for so I'm gonna have to do them tomorrow which is not what I wanted not what I wanted to do I need to get dressed for my grad which is in a week <laughs> I need to get a dress I have like my dress for the banquet but I need a dress for the ceremony to wear under my robe I just want like a short black dress that's all I want so hopefully it won't be that hard to find but it's summer so like black dresses aren't exactly in season right now so I don't know how easy it's really gonna be but I'm hoping I'm hoping that it works out okay for me like guys cross your fingers <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I'm stressed I also need to buy shampoo because I'm running out and conditioner and lots of other stuff I mean, I ran out of hair ties. I've been using like these scrunchies because I ran out of hair ties because I lose them all because I'm uh, just bad at keeping track of things, I guess. <laughs> and so now I'm out of hair ties and I need to buy more. It's a serious problem, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> I'll get more someday, maybe. We hope. We hope and pray. Um, so that's how my day's been. How about you guys? How's your day been? <laughs> I actually did have a really good day up until after the dentist. After the dentist onward has not been a good day, but up to that point was a good day. <laughs> so that's good. Um, we had like a year end assembly at school, which was fun. Um, and they basically just like thanked like some outstanding students. I was not one of them. Haha, <laughs> I'm not outstanding and um like i don't know they, they had a couple funny things that they did and it was a good time and then we had our year on barbecue at school where they basically it's two dollars and you get like chips and water and a burger and there's like oranges if you want oranges but i don't like oranges so i passed on that one um but the burgers that they make are really good 
they're real good. So that was fun. And even, I didn't even have to pay, I mean, it's only $2, but there was a teacher, like, four people out of me. And he gave the girl, because you have to, like, buy a ticket with your $2, and then you give your ticket to the person when you go to get your food. And the teacher, kind of, who's, like, four people ahead of me, gave the girl who was selling the tickets a $10 bill and said, I'll pay for me and the four people behind me. So I got mine for free. <laughs> Which was great. <laughs> like, it was only $2. It wasn't that big of a deal. But it was so nice that he was like, I'll pay for me and also the people behind me with this $10 bill. It was really sweet. And so that was a really pleasant surprise, I guess you could say. It was good times. It really was. Um, so that was fun, and it was a good burger. It was a real good burger, and good water too. So that's fun. I don't know. That's my story. That's how my day was. How was your day? Tell me in the comments. Let me know. How'd your day go? I want to know. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm a curious person, which is actually very true. I am super curious. But I'm like so curious to the point where I get really nosy. It's actually one of my biggest flaws. Like if you're sitting next to me and you're on your phone, I promise you I am watching what you're doing on your phone. And I'm not doing it to be like disrespectful or invade your privacy. I'm just curious. I don't know. I'm wondering what you're doing, so I'm going to look. And I'm not a hypocrite, okay? I expect that people are going to do the same to me, so I always have the brightness on my phone turned all the way down so that other people can't see what I'm doing because I know there are people out there like me who are just always snooping, okay? If I do it, there has to be someone else who does it, and I feel bad about it, and I warn people too, like the person who sits next to me in social. I told him straight up, just so you know, I'm probably always going to watch what you're doing on your phone, and I don't mean to. I don't even consciously do it. Just you pull out a phone and you're next to me, I'm gonna look. Or if you start talking to someone else, but you're like, in my general, if I can hear you talking to someone else, I'm gonna listen to what you're saying. Because I'm just nosy like that and I can't help it. And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> it's just who I am as a person and I've grown to accept it, so so should you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> True story, you guys. True story. Um, you know, this video is actually coming pretty close not really. Well, it's kind of close to ending. What can I talk about in, like, the four minutes I have left? I know. Um, so I recently, about a week ago, about a week ago, that's a song I think. Okay, I'm lame. Anyways, about a week ago, I turned 18, which, if you didn't know, where I live, 18 is the legal drinking age. Since turning 18, I went to a bar the day after I turned 18. It's not really, it's like a bar slash arcade, and we mostly just went there to play games, and it was lots of fun. Um, I did also have one drink, one alcoholic drink, the first and last, because I don't drink, but I figured I'd have one for my 18th birthday, whatever. Um, but, so there, I went there, and the lady, we went to the restaurant where I had my drink, she was like real rude about asking me for my ID, and I was like, you know what, girl, you know what, whatever. She didn't believe I'm 18. I mean, it was like the day after my birthday, so whatever. And then today, for supper, I went to a pub with my mom. We didn't drink alcohol, but you have to be 18 to go in the pub because they serve alcohol. And, um, yeah, the, the waitress didn't believe that I was 18. And I was like, girl, read the driver's license. I'm 18. Also, on my birthday, we went to a fancy restaurant for dinner and they give free wine samples. And the waitress asked everyone but me if they wanted one because she just assumed that I wasn't 18. Now, I didn't want a wine sample, so I didn't say anything. But deep down it hurt. Like, I low-key just wanted to be like, uh, just so you know, I don't want one, but I'm offended that you didn't ask me because I could have one if I wanted one. Because I'm 18, girl. Why are you playing? Yeah, I was like low-key really offended that she just didn't ask me. She asked everyone but me, and I was like, you know what, girl? If I wanted one, I could have one. I just don't want one. But I could if I wanted to. So, screw you. Yeah, it made me very offended. It's just like when I started driving... And, like, no one believed that I was old enough to drive. Like, other cars would be driving and they'd, like, look out their window and see me in the driver's seat and be like, Is she, is she allowed to drive that car? Are you, she, she looks like she's 12. I don't know why she's driving a car. Like, you could just tell by the look on their face that they were like, 
uh, are we sure that she that this is legal? Because <laughs> she don't look like she's old enough to drive. And honestly, I still get looks like that. But now it's even worse because I also get looks like that whenever I try to do something that only 18-year-olds can do. They're like, mm, girl, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But anyways, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys.